Hurricane Isaias, located near the southeastern Bahamas. Showers and Hurricane Watch. The Hurricane Watch is in effect for the following counties in Florida, Northern Brevard, and Southern Brevard. Tropical Weather Outlook. Hurricane Watch now in effect for Brevard, Indian River, St. Lucie, and Martin Counties. New information, current watches, and warnings. The Hurricane Watch is in effect for Northern Brevard and Southern Brevard. A tropical storm warning and Hurricane Watch are in effect for Indian River, Martin, and St. Lucie. Situation Overview Hurricane Isaias, moving into the southeastern Bahamas this morning, is forecast to move northwest into the central Bahamas by tonight, and the northwestern Bahamas on Saturday. The latest forecast remains consistent in turning Isaias north-northwest and then northward, paralleling the central Florida Atlantic coast while remaining about 20 to 30 miles offshore at its closest point of approach Saturday night through Sunday afternoon. Isaias is forecast to remain a Category 1 hurricane as it moves toward the Atlantic waters just offshore the Treasure Coast Saturday night and just offshore Brevard by Sunday morning. With the close approach of Hurricane Isaias, a hurricane watch has been issued for Brevard County and the Treasure Coast. A tropical storm warning is also now in effect for the Indian River, St. Lucie and Martin Counties. Based on the latest forecast track, tropical storm conditions are expected for Brevard and the Treasure Coast with the possibility of hurricane conditions for these areas if Isaias tracks closer to the East Coast. There remains the possibility that the core of the hurricane could impact the barrier islands and immediate coastal areas, with hurricane force gusts and damaging wind potential. At this time, breezy to windy conditions are expected across interior portions of East Central Florida Saturday night and Sunday. Tropical storm gusts may occur in squalls that reach inland areas by late Saturday night and Sunday. Rain bands with gusty squalls from Isaias will reach the Treasure Coast Saturday afternoon, increasing in coverage and intensity as they spread north along the coast Saturday night through Sunday. Rainfall amounts may reach 3 to 5 inches across the coastal counties, with the heaviest totals expected over the Treasure Coast. Rainfall across inland areas will be lower with 1 to 3 inches expected. This may cause minor flooding of urban and other poorly drained and low-lying areas. Long period swells from Isaias will reach the surf zone today and build through this weekend. This will create a high risk for strong and life-threatening recurrence. The building seas and surf will also result in dangerously high seas of 20 feet or higher and large breaking waves in excess of 7 feet. Beach erosion is likely around the times of high tide throughout the upcoming weekend. Boating and beach activity will become extremely dangerous, so you will want to stay out of the water. Persons in East Central Florida should continue to monitor the latest forecasts and statements from the National Hurricane Center and your National Weather Service office in Melbourne through this weekend next update. The next local statement will be issued by the National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida around 5.30 p.m., or sooner if conditions warrant. Hurricane Watch The Hurricane Watch is in effect for the following counties in Florida, Northern Brevard and Southern Brevard. The latest Tropical Cyclone Advisory at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the center of Hurricane Isaias was located by an Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft and Bahamas radar near latitude 21.7 north, longitude 74.5 west. Isaias is moving toward the northwest near 16 miles per hour, and a general northwestward motion with some decrease in forward speed is expected for the day or so followed by a turn toward the north-northwest. On the forecast track, the center of Isaias will continue to move near or over the southeastern Bahamas today. Isaias is forecast to be near the central Bahamas tonight, and move near or over the northwestern Bahamas Saturday and near the east coast of the Florida Peninsula Saturday afternoon through Sunday. Data from the reconnaissance aircraft indicate that maximum sustained winds are near 75 miles per hour with higher gusts. Some strengthening is possible today and tonight, and Isaias is expected to remain a hurricane for the next few days. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 35 miles from the center and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 205 miles. Reports from the reconnaissance aircraft indicate that the minimum central pressure is 992 millibars 29.30 inches.